Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Hagman here at Alden Library, and today we're going to be talking with uh, Bill Kimmick, University Archivist, about the exhibit, which you can see on the fifth floor right now. It is for Ohio University's Founders Day, which was officially February 18th, so last Sunday, but right this week, and through how long will the exhibit be up? It'll be up at least through the rest of this semester. Okay, so for the rest of the semester, you can come see this exhibit, which celebrates 150 years of women at Ohio University. Um, so could you tell us a little bit about how the exhibit came to be, and like what, if, um, why this year, why are we focusing on women this year? Sure. Uh, well, there's always, for Founders Day, we always try to do an exhibit that has, that for a year that falls on the zeros or the fives, the hundredth, the fiftieth, the seventy-fifth, that kind of thing. And so in past years, that's what we've done. And this year, I was just looking for something. And it seemed like since um, Margaret Boyd graduated, or, or I'm sorry, started her education at Ohio University in 1868, 150 years was the perfect time to go with. And since she was the first woman at Ohio University, um, we're just featuring women, uh, women all day, all the time here. There's something I can get behind. Um, so, and okay, so she enrolled in 1868, and if I recall correctly, she had to enroll under M. Boyd to avoid a scandal a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure about enrolling under M. Boyd. Certainly her, her um, grade cards, which we have included in, in, the, uh, in, in the exhibit, her um, transcripts go as, as Mag, Maggie or Margaret, but she was listed in the catalog, at least, as M. Boyd. Okay. Um, and we know a lot about Mar Margaret Boyd because we do have her diary of her senior year, which is it out in the exhibit? Yes, it is. It's yep. over, over there. Yep. Um, it's super tiny, so she kept a daily diary of her senior year, which a couple of years ago we actually um, live tweeted that whole thing. I guess it was five years, six years ago now, which is kind of amazing. Um, but so you can learn a lot about her. But there's a lot of other women here. So um, are there any lesser known, uh, famous, less famous Ohio women in the exhibit? Yeah, I wouldn't characterize them as lesser known or less famous. I wouldn't want to hurt feelings. But there are, it, it, it sort of begins with, there are a lot of themes going. It's a large room, so we've done a lot of themes. Uh, one of the themes are f uh, first, women first. So we've got Maggie Boyd, we've got, um, uh, we have the, who was the first female student. We have Martha, um, who was the first African-American uh, female to graduate. We have Cynthia Weld, who was the first female instructor at Ohio University, and also, by the way, first female instructor at Ohio State the next year. Uh, we have Irma Voigt, who was the first dean of, stu dean of women. And then on the other wall, we've got other firsts. We have Hilda Richards, who was the first dean of an academic uh, department. Um, and we have Ann Keating, who was the first female library director. Um, we have Catherine Brown, who was sort of a, a pioneer in, for Ohio University anyway in NCAA sports. We have Sharon Brem, who was the first female provost. We have Francine Child, who was the first um, African-American tenured professor, not just female, but the first African tenured professor, period. We have Bev, uh, Bev Jones, who was, who was once known as Bev Price, who wrote the document that really changed how Ohio University com complied with Title IX just after Title IX had been legislated. Then we have um, Gladys Balin, who was the, fir who was the first dist female distinguished professor at Ohio University. And we have Evelyn Lux, who was the first female Board of Trustees member. So that's, the, that's sort of the, the uh, core of the exhibit. And then um, on the wall, um, directly facing where I am right now, are first ladies. Um, and we, we began with the, the, the first lady for whom we had uh, an image, of course, which was Elizabeth Baker. And, and so those eight first ladies uh, are consecutive from Elizabeth Baker to, um, to Mrs. Nellis. And then we've got biographies. I forgot to mention there are biographies in all of the cases as well with the women so you can learn something about, not just about their time here, but about their lives in general. In these other cases that we have here, there's a case over here to my right, which represents uh, women who have been philanthropic toward Ohio University. This is just a very small sampling of women who have been important to Ohio University um, in, in establishing programs and endowments and such. Um, and rather than mentioning any of them, it, it's better to come see them because I don't want to leave anybody out. We also have a, um, an exhibit over here to my left which are sororities of today. I mean, we can't forget about the women who are around here today. And I thought that these images and histories of the sororities best represented what we could do about women who are on campus today. 
Then there are two cases, again across the way, two flat top case, glass cases, which have all manner of things that have to do with Ohio University women's lives, from dance cards and photographs to mom's weekend uh, brochures to um, scrapbook images and and sports things and and cat and calendars and yearbooks and that sort of thing. So. Uh, I think they're well represented, and those have turned out to be pretty popular with people who are walking through the area. And then finally, on the ceiling, um, we have all sorts of images of Ohio of women at Ohio University, um, whether they're in the marching band or whether they're in an athletic uh, event or whether they're sitting and talking to somebody or whether they're on a float in a parade or celebrating some sort of event. We, I just thought it was important to show women in because they, they are in all parts of university life, and I think this sort of exhibits that pretty well. Is there anything, um, as you're, I mean, obviously you work with these materials a lot, but there, was there anything that surprised you or something new you found when you were putting this exhibit together? Well, yes. Um, when I was doing the biographies especially, uh, you know, you learn a lot more about the women than just what they did when they were at Ohio University. And I, that, they're, they're all from the first that I have in these, in these wall cases to the first ladies, to the women, to the entrepreneurs, they are really, really impressive women. They have really um, had impressive lives and, and done impressive things. And so that was the thing in, in doing that, I really came, to, not that I didn't appreciate them before, but I appreciate them a lot more now after looking into uh, their histories before and then after they were at Ohio University. Um, have you seen any uh, people coming to the exhibit kind of being surprised by anything they learn here or um, any kind of interest in a new area of study for women at Ohio University? Um, no, I haven't really seen that happen. What I do see is this is often a room that people come into uh, when they're studying and they come in here to use their cell phones. I have seen a lot of, especially women, uh, being interested. I saw a woman here on Thursday night when I was hanging some of the, the pictures who was on, actually on the cell phone to her mom and she was looking at one and she was like this and, and and she stopped talking for about five minutes and she then she said oh I'm sorry mom what were you saying I was just looking at this really neat stuff about <laughs> mom's weekend in this exhibit you should come see it sometime so that's kind of nice to see students who generally just walk through here to get maybe to the restroom or get to a study area mm -hmm. um, to see women actually taking notice and enjoying what we have here mm -hmm. um, is there anything any anecdotes or any interesting things you other that any people represented here you'd want to tell us about? No, I, I'm, I mean, what's interesting to me might not be interesting to others, and what they might find interesting would be, um, what, what I would hope is that people would see these things, realize again, just like what we do, when we have an exhibit like this, this is really just the tip of the materials we have in the archives, and so it's meant to educate in that way that people can see these things that we have here, and then maybe look a little deeper into what else we have if it, if it piques their interest. Um, so it sounds like this would be a great thing to do with if people have visitors for Mom's Weekend. They could absolutely. Come here and, I would hope so. Yes. Okay. Something definitely something to do in addition to the full lineup right. of events happening on campus. Right. Look, Mom, I know a lot about the library. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Excellent. You can show off your favorite study space and show how much you know about our exhibits. Sure. Yep. Um, and of course, there's lots of exhibits in the library right now, so there's lots to see. Uh, there will be lots to see when you come to visit. Um, so, anything else we should know? I think we've covered it. Okay. All right. So if you want to see the exhibit, it's on the fifth floor in Alden Library. Um, so just come up to the fifth floor on the elevator and turn to your, was there something else? I do have one more okay. thing to say. This isn't just my work. Um, certainly I know a lot about what we have in the collections, but this is a collaboration. It's a collaboration. My student, Hannah Reynolds, did a great job of helping me put this together, especially when it came to the stuff that women students might enjoy more. Um, so I should mention her. I should mention our digital people, Janet Carlton, um, especially in her students who helped me to make these pictures into something more than just 8 by 11s, make them come to life, I think, especially the ones that are in the cases. Um, and the print shop up on, up on the ridges. Everybody really chipped in and, uh, and worked hard and did a really good job with this. So um, I do hope people will come to see it and, and it will be certainly worth our while if, if we get more people in here to take a look at it. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, that's great. That's an important point. So much of this work is collaborative, and you can't see that when you just yeah. see this finished product. But I do love how you did the, the backgrounds this year. It's such a, you can see, really see their faces in a way I think we haven't been able to um, before. So I think that is really great. I know that takes a lot of work from DI and, and um, yeah. 
printing and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, definitely come up and visit. It's a really great exhibit. Um, if you want to know more, you can always talk to Bill or you can look at our online exhibits. You can follow us on um, Instagram and Twitter. Um, definitely follow Alden Lib Digital. They um, share a huge amount um, of university history photos throughout the year. Um, I expect we'll probably be seeing lots of women during March for Women's History Month. Um, so you can definitely see more there. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks, Jessica.